There you go. Good morning. I hope everyone's having a great Saturday. As you can see, I'm playing tennis. I love the game of tennis. When it comes to tennis, there's two words that come to mind. One is speed. The other is power. Let's deal with the speed first. Speed's important mainly because to get to a ball at the different levels as you see these players playing, you have to be able to turn it on and back it off. And it's not just linear speed as if you're going into the court, but it has to be lateral and diagonal. And to be able to back pedal back is as important as being able to go forward fast. The ladder is a basically footwork drill, which is the basis of your entire foundation in tennis. And it teaches you the movement, linear, lateral, and diagonal, to get to balls. And the smaller the step, or even the larger steps, work the larger and the smaller innervative muscles, which allow you to move very, very fast when you're at the net. Very important. Suicide drills are made to get the heart rate going very, very fast. And it's also the hand-eye coordination that come, comes along with hitting ball after ball after ball without any downside. When you see kids or adults running lines, they're not just running back and forth side to side or linear. They're actually doing some of those ladder footwork drills. It's both without the ladder, so in case you're not as agile, it'll allow you to start doing that before you move to the next level on the ladder. And the next word to improve your game is power. Power starts in the fitness center. And you being the fitness man that you are, you understand how important it is to have the larger primary muscles working at optimum, as well as the secondary synergistic stabilizer muscles, which keeps you moving safely and comfortably to hit balls. The power is from the waist down. From the torso up, it's not power. It's speed. So that's where you get the speed and the power from. Sponge balls are usually related to just beginners and even sometimes intermediate. For kids, it's mainly a safety issue as well as something that big and that slow so that they can hit the ball comfortably and feel good about themselves. But you can always incorporate some sponge balls into some advanced drills. There's some things that you can do on a tennis court you can't do in a golf course, you can't do in a swimming pool, and that's where tennis is kind of unique and opening it up to just about anyone. And lastly, when it comes to power, you could work out right on the court. Just get your racket, put the cover on, put the balls in there, and do side laterals. Knees slightly bent. Don't come above your shoulder or you can impinge your nerve. Do three sets of 10, then do front laterals. Listen, simplicity is key when it comes to conditioning yourself. Awesome workout for your heart. Burns tons, hundreds of calories and you really could enjoy the entire family playing tennis. I'm at the Beverly Hills Club in Beverly Hills, Michigan. They have wonderful courts here, great instructors like Bill. And if you're by yourself, don't sweat it. You could actually have a ball feeder and enjoy the game of tennis. Hopefully these tips will help the whole family. Until next week, I'm Peter Nielsen with Peter's Principles.